everyone. Welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today we're going to have a look at November and we're going to see what the energies are going to be like and in particular we're going to take a look at Mars because that's the big news, that's the big change that's happening. So let's do a little match up of what happened last month because there are a couple of things that happened towards the end of the month that I think are worth matching up with what was happening astrologically. Uh, the first one was Megan Kelly lost her job. Um, I know it's not the biggest news story in the world, but it's very interesting because it happened at the full moon, pretty much exactly. I think the full moon happened and then it was either that day or the next day she lost her job. I'm pretty sure it was around 24, 25th October type time. Uh, that was quite significant because it matched up with that very difficult full moon. The other thing that seemed to be matching up with that very difficult full moon was the male bombers. Now I haven't done a huge amount of research into either of these. I just thought at a very top line look I would just match these up with that full moon. And I wanted to say that that last full moon that we had, 24th, 25th of October, that was a very intense moon. Uh, if you'd like to, please feel free to um, note what happened to you just recently during that really intense full moon. I know for me personally, I had perhaps one of the worst migraines I've had in a very, very long time. I haven't been sick for a long time. And around that full moon, I was just knocked out flat. Um, I don't know if it, my sickness was to do with the full moon. Uh, I try not to match up too much of my own life with astrology I tend to reserve all of my astrological doing for clients <laughs> I don't want to get too because I could be looking up everything I could be you know I've got this system I could look up should I go shopping in the next hour I mean it could be too much for me so I I tend to not look things up for me but it was so fascinating because I actually clicked up the hours and I could see that that was the hour that the full moon was really happening here in the United Kingdom. That was when my headache was absolutely the worst. So um, because I was so sick and I was curious I thought let's let's have a look and uh, it matched up. So that was really interesting. I do think that a lot of people found the energy of that um, full moon quite intense and I know a few of my friends are actually ill as well at the same time so that that's really been an interesting full moon. This month though I just want to do a brief overview as to what's going on this month. I've clicked through, I've had a look for what's the exciting thing that's happening this month and I really believe it's Mars. Mars is the one to watch, it's our Mars energy. So what's happening with Mars? It's quite exciting really. Uh, on the 6th of November Mars enters Aquarius and the famous Mars K2 conjunction will come to an end. So wow we're gonna be saying goodbye to something here now. We're saying goodbye to something pretty big. This uh, dynamic has been in operation since about 1st of May of this year. So that Mars K2 conjunction in Capricorn you know on the, the you know 10th house of uh, career fame spotlight looking at power and um, you know who's right I think one of my videos in the past I call it the power to be offended you know and the me too movement I'm not saying that me too was a bad thing I think it's wonderful I think it's very necessary uh, I love that that's going on because I know I've suffered in large corporations where I've been overlooked and you kind of think well why I'm good at what I do uh, but there you go. So I, I relate to to a lot of that and I was very happy about that um, Me Too movement. But I, I wonder if that's going to be in the spotlight as much now. Uh, now we're looking at a change. We're looking at the conjunction basically coming to an end because Mars is stepping into a new house. Mars is stepping into Aquarius. So we're going to have a shifting of energy this month and it'll be interesting to see how it plays out for you. So in this introduction I'm just going through the dates. 
I'll have a little bit of uh, an overview for all signs, tips for all signs, and then I'm going to go into specifics. And you can, of course, click on to your timestamp and just watch your bit. But it is worth watching the intro because this is where I go through the dates. So 6th of November, Mars enters Aquarius. Um, 17th of November, Mars moves from the Nishta Nakshatra to Satta Bishat Nakshatra. Uh, and, and you know, I think we're looking at a nice transition here. We're looking at, I always think Satya Bishag, I always think we're healing the collective consciousness. It's very much a humanitarian uh, type of placement, Aquarius. Um, and, you know, Mars fights for what he believes in. Mars fights for what is right. So hopefully we're, we're going to see a continuation of things like Me Too, but it'll be slightly different. I think there'll be more of a healing element to it. Um, basically Mars is in Aquarius until the 23rd of December so what I'm going to say when you click on your timestamp that energy really applies from say the 6th of November to about the 23rd of December we're talking about there okay so it's a nice long period and I'm only just going to talk about Mars I'm not going to talk about any other planets uh, 16th November we've got Venus going forward so that's quite nice so you know, you've got until the 16th for potentially an old lover to come back into your life, for example. Uh, for some of you, that might be a relief to know, oh, good, no, no demons from the past are coming back. Um, maybe I'm revealing a bit too much about myself there. No, I'm kidding. I would gladly welcome just about anything at this time. Um, now, for all signs, I have some little tips here. What have I got? I've said... Uh, watch the fighting spirit within you, watch your own aggression, watch how you define your territory, how you fill space with yourself. Hmm, interesting. How, watch how you navigate and negotiate personal boundaries. Some of you will have more courage to expand your territory and really go for it. You know, so There are some lucky signs here and you'll know if you're one of the lucky ones as you listen to your uh, report. Some of you are very lucky and you, you'll have a chance to expand and to excel and to grow. Uh, while some of you will need to wait and then act. Um, I've got a little tip here. Use Saturn or Mercurial energies to delay a bit and think logically. You know, while you're in that delay period, think, have a think, then do. Uh, some of you might want to hold back on acting. So let's go through all the signs. And as I say, we're only looking at Mars this time. So Aries Moon, welcome Aries Moon. Thank you so much for joining. Now, Mars, this Mars transition is taking place in your 11th house. So what are the things you want to look out for? Oh, well, this is a wonderful transition. Lucky you, Aries Moon. This is good for you. This is fantastic. Uh, you've got a lot to look forward to when it comes to Mars, okay? So better health, more energy, you'll be feeling more vibrant, more vital, uh, more income opportunities, more opportunities to expand your business, more opportunities for growth, perhaps get more clients, uh, do better at work. Great time to expand in terms of property. This is really great because some signs are not, you know, I'm going to be advising them to slow down when it comes to property for you. You can go ahead. Uh, good time with siblings. Great time to spend with your children if you're lucky to have children. Now, here's something to consider. During this time, and we're looking at a nice long time here. This is, you know, till late December, really, this Mars energy. Um, this could be a really good time to expand your personal sense of self in relationships, right? This could be a great time to renegotiate some of the set patterns in old relationships, to make some improvements, to make some headway, um, you know, and, and to do this in a mindful and non-reactive way. So if something hasn't been working in the past, you know, this could well be the month to make improvements in all of your relationships. So Aries Moon, Lucky you, you are one of the recipients of this beautiful energy, of this beautiful Mars transit. So enjoy that. And we're going to welcome Taurus Moon. Taurus Moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Now, the Mars transition that I spoke about in the introduction is happening in your 10th house. Okay, so you're not going to experience too much of a change here. It's going to be more of the same for you. Mars is going to feel mostly the same for you. Uh, so nothing too dramatic in terms of change. Things around you might be changing a little bit uh, in terms of 
Mars energies. So if there's not much happening for you, you might notice changes around you and you might want to be more careful, okay, as these energies shift and change. Uh, you know, take some extra time and consideration when making any moves at work, for example. Um, health, you want to look after your health. You want to look after your energy. If you're tired, go home, rest. Don't feel the need to overdo it. Uh, you'll really want to conserve your energy this month, definitely. Um, it's a terrific time for planning and strategizing far into the future. So if you're getting a bit restless at work and you're like, oh, I want to do something or I want to make a shift, I want to make a change, maybe not the best time to make any big concrete moves, but a really fantastic time to sit with a pen and paper and, and be plotting your course forward because there's going to be better times ahead for you. So this month, go easy and take care. All right, now we're going to welcome Gemini Moon. Gemini Moon, welcome. Thanks so much for joining. Now, the Mars transition is taking place in your ninth house. Uh, so for you, you might be finding lately it's really quite hard to make progress on the work front. You might be finding that, you know, you're, you're working really hard, you're doing lots of things, but, um, you know, just getting that progress it might be a bit hard, uh, might be hard work. So take it easy, right? Don't push um, where you don't have to or where, you know, you haven't been seeing too many results. Just take it easy. Look after your health, you know, go slow, go easy on the spending as well. <laughs> um, and because I know sometimes when we take time out or, or we don't do as much, then some of us tend to shop. <laughs> um that's easily done, you know, when, when things aren't happening on the work front, oh, what do I do? I know, I'll buy stuff. Well, take it easy on the buying stuff. Uh, yeah, I've got a note here for you that things might feel a bit restless. You might have a restless feeling in, in the background. And and some people, yeah, they will channel that into shopping. Um, better to channel it into going out with friends. How about that? Do that instead. Uh you know, and I've got an, yeah, I've got some notes here. It's okay, write it through. And Mars energies might be transitioning around you. People might be transitioning because Mars is transitioning. So as people adjust to that, as people get used to that, you know, relationships might be a bit compromised. Some people might be flaring up or um, feeling it or, you know, just, just go slow is my advice and take time. Um, think about your relationships think about how you can navigate boundaries and negotiate more time out for yourself this is going to be really useful to do because that that Mars transit is going to you're still going to have a bit of time before you get to a really exciting Mars transit so uh, you'll want to negotiate some some time out for yourself when and where you can all right Gemini Moon it's been lovely chatting and now we're going to welcome Cancer Moon Cancer Moon, welcome. This Mars transition is taking place in your eighth house. So what are the things you want to look out for? Okay, for you, this is really going to be impacting your physical body. Uh, you're really, really going to want to take it easy when you need to, rest when you need to. If everyone at work is, is going out to some party and maybe make an appearance but then leave on time or leave early, you know, conserve your energy, don't feel the need to do way too much. Um, is a time for gentle body toning exercises. Again, don't push it, right? This is not the time to be pushing it physically for you. Um, applying for loans, borrowing money might be harder at this time. That's another thing with, with Mars in the eighth house. So, um, you know, relying on other people, that might not go so well. Uh, you know, you're really going to want to, you might want to do your own thing. Equally, it could be a nice time to get away with family and friends. So you're either going to be feeling like, I can't depend on anyone, I need to do my own thing, or you might be feeling like, and I think socially, it's, it's like where you're going to find some joy this month is more going to be um, with your family and friends. So that's going to work well for you. So if you can carve out some time socially, family and friends, that's going to be really nice for you, Cancer Moon. So I hope this transition goes well for you. And we are going to welcome Leo Moon. Leo Moon, welcome. 
Thank you so much for joining. Uh, this transition is happening in your seventh house. Uh, Mars transition, this is not a great transit for you. Yeah. On the work front and in relationships. So definitely to do with your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, um, you know, your sweetheart, you're really going to want to take it easy with them. Or of course, twin flame. Everybody's talking about twin flames these days, you know, and, and people talk about twin flames, even if you haven't met that person, but they're out there somewhere, you know. So uh, so if, if, if you're in that situation where you're yet to meet your twin flame, that's a good thing. Send them good vibes. Um, because I tell you, if you do have someone in your life, it's going to be strained a little bit, possibly. Um, it could be a bit tough. Mars is the planet of you fight for what you believe in. It can be aggression. It can be Mars can cause arguments. Um, Mars can be a really difficult planet, actually. People think Saturn's the bad guy. I tend to think Mars is the bad guy. Uh, I, I like Saturn. I'm a Saturn fan. So Leo Moon, this is you really want to take it easy here. And I've got to note that you really want to delay. Reread an email before you hit send. Reread a text before you hit send. Reread anything before you press any button. <laughs> That's the big advice for you this month. Um, think things through. Relationships are in focus. So spouse, even your mother, uh, business partner, definitely colleagues, anyone that you're working closely with on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, um, these are the relationships that might be feeling a little bit of strain. So you want to go slow um, and you want to take your time. And your health could also be challenging. So if you are feeling tired, rest, relax, don't overdo it. This is not the month to overdo it. And certainly if you're living in the Northern Hemisphere, the weather's changing as well, you know, so you've got to bear that in mind. And you might want to um, rug up if you're in a cold climate like I am. And, uh, you know, you really want to really want to look after the physical body there, Leo Moon. So take it easy, Leo Moon. We are now going to welcome Virgo Moon. Virgo Moon, welcome. Now, this Mars transition is happening in your sixth house. Hallelujah. This is great. This is good news for you, Leo Virgo Moon. Sorry, I was just in Leo Moon and now we're in Virgo Moon. Virgo Moon, sixth house. This is awesome. Um, you are one of the lucky ones. Good on you. You are very much one of the lucky ones. Mars loves to be in this area, uh, in the sixth house. Mars is very happy in the third, in the sixth, and in the eleventh. So as you can see, there aren't many of you <laughs> who I'm delivering good news to, but you are one of the ones I'm delivering good news to. Uh, profits, we're looking at a boost to income. We're looking at more clients. We're looking at recognition by your boss. This is great. Um, your health should improve. You should feel more energetic. Um, you know, you, you should feel more able to conquer the world, uh, is what I'm saying here. You know, this, this is just a really good transit, and it lasts for a while. It lasts kind of till end of December, so, um, you know, early November, end of December, fantastic. So I've got things to consider. How you can expand your sense of self in all your relationships, okay? This is a really good time to think about all your relationships and to think about, does that other person really see me? Do they, do they really see who I am or are they just relating to what they want me to be? Now, if they're just relating to what they want you to be, this is a really good time to show them your true self and say, hey, this is me. You know, you might think I'm this, but I'm this, right? This is a great time to expand your territory, expand yourself. Put yourself out there. Say, this is who I am. You know, with this kind of energy, uh, of Mars being in the sixth house, it's a really good opportunity for you to renegotiate um, some of your the set patterns in old relationships, you know, um, so that you can enjoy yourself more and that you can have more of a self in those relationships, right? It's a good time to renegotiate boundaries and promote a sense of self. So Virgo, Moon, I'm really hoping that you can make the most of this beautiful energy that's available to you. And we are now going to welcome Libra Moon. Libra Moon, welcome. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, this Mars transition is happening for you in your fifth house. So what does this mean? Right, this is not an ideal 
transit particularly um, some some mild worries might creep in you might have some stress or this restless feeling that you're like I don't know what this is it could be your Mars energy okay uh, this is a really good time to as we say here in the United Kingdom really good time to keep calm and carry on so you're going to want to be calm you're going to want to do meditations whenever you can or relax whenever you can look out the window whenever you can I've got a nice window here I look out of it frequently um, this could be a really good time to work on relationships with family and friends uh, this is definitely a time to be careful with your health rest whenever you feel like you're a little bit tired just conserve the energy don't overdo it right because you don't want to get sick either now we've had a change of weather is happening as well so always a good time to get sick when there's change of weather so you really want to conserve your energy here and alkalize your diet if you can more lemon lemons lemon juice um, alkalizing healthy food fresh green veg all that kind of thing um spend time with your children definitely if you have children this is a great time to just chill out with them um, be careful not to spend extra keep your spending in check okay that's another thing that you might want to keep an eye on now I've got a note for you relationships remember the phrase I seek to understand I have this phrase a lot in my head that I seek to understand the key words there seek to understand three words is all you have to remember um, when you truly seek to understand forgiveness happens naturally okay you won't have to particularly work hard at forgiving someone um, forgiveness will just happen when you when you really understand what's going on for the other person all right so Libra Moon I'm wishing you well I'm wishing you good energy and good rest uh, in the month of November so we're now going to welcome Scorpio Moon Scorpio Moon welcome thank you so much for joining now this Mars transition is happening for you in the fourth house uh, yeah just just like Libra moon that I've just been in for you guys Scorpio moon this, this is not an ideal transition um, you're coming out of a good time actually oh indeed you are yes you're coming out of the third house so you're going to have some shifting to do you're gonna have you know you're gonna experience Mars in, in a new way now for the next definitely for the next couple of months okay definitely throughout November so you're going to want to just be aware and keep your eyes peeled for enemies that come out of nowhere um, which is a bit of an odd phrase uh, but it's kind of true you know sometimes you've been having a good time and then all of a sudden boom someone at work says something so you're really going to want to um, just be watchful for that uh, keep an eye on mother's health keep an eye on your own health right we've got a shift of seasons happening as well things are getting colder definitely in the northern hemisphere so you know you want to keep keep looking after your health um, if it's possible to delay property matters delay property matters take time don't don't rush this is not the time to rush with property uh, and that's we're looking through to the end of December or thereabouts um, keep harmonious relationships with your loved ones and I mean that that shouldn't be too hard this is more of a time for you to spend time at home to spend time with your loved ones to spend time just just being in that domestic environment and not necessarily interacting with them or doing too much just just being with them you know being with family just being with them I saw this beautiful video of these twins being reunited on YouTube and when they were asked a year later what was your favorite part hi Scorpio moon sorry about that the camera just collapsed as we know it does it happens a lot on this channel one day I'll get a really good camera and it won't do that but um, yeah I think I was talking about if I remember correctly was I telling you about twins and how these twins met and then a year later they were asked what was your favorite part of being together over this past year like they went to Disneyland and they went to this place and that place they went to all these cool places and one of the twins she just said just being together and I thought wow isn't that amazing and that's that's true that's 
that's the beauty of family, you know, you don't have to speak, you don't have to do anything, you just be, just be with them, you know, and I think that's going to be the idea for you uh, with this Mars transition. Don't need to say too much, don't need to do too much, just spending that beautiful harmonious time with your family, you know, nurturing yourself, um, you know, this, this isn't a great time to be doing big expansion plans, either property-wise or career-wise, so that's really the news for you. So I've got a final note here, go slow, check, recheck, what you want is slow considered movements this month. All right, well thank you so much Scorpio Moon and we are now going to welcome Sagittarius Moon. Sagittarius Moon, welcome, thank you so much for joining. Now, oh you are one of the lucky ones, let me tell you, you are so lucky because you're having a great Mars transition. Mars is going to enter your third house which is beautiful and this is going to be early November through to December, end of December even, so really make the most of this beautiful transit. So what is in store for you potentially? We're looking at opportunities to increase wealth, so new clients, um, you know, new opportunities, online opportunities, I mean goodness the internet is just providing so many opportunities to people. Um, this is a really good time to expand yourself in terms of your work, definitely, through sales especially. We're looking at the third house here, so that's beautiful. Um, your efforts are going to bring results. You're going to see and feel that. So put in the effort, put in the groundwork. Um, this is a time for you to work, 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 work hard, do lots, achieve, expand. If you listen to the other signs, um, you'll hear me saying things like, you know, you could put in effort, but it's not going to yield much. I'm not saying that for you. Uh, I'm definitely saying now's the time to work. Now is the time to put in your effort. Now is the time to go for it. You know, this is this is really good because you should reap at this time. I'm really hoping that. Um, you should also be encouraged to continue. Absolutely. More confidence, more strength, more courage. You know, being out there, putting yourself out there. Um, showcasing your yourself and your talents and what you do this is a really good time for all that uh, your health should be good you should have the energy to do this um, and you should be able to experience definitely an enhanced clarity of meaning and purpose now if you're finding that that's not quite happening you could have other transits other things going on okay so um, you know and actually, I think for Sagittarius Moon, I'm not 100% sure, but are you having a bit of a tough Saturn transit? Let me just double check that for you now. Um, I think that might be the case. I think I did see that. Now, you might be, Saturn might be on your moon. So look, if that's the case, um, perhaps there's not a huge amount you can do. I'll be honest. But try try don't worry don't worry look Saturn on the moon that takes ages right so you, you 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 should be mastering that energy get into the Mars mindset don't worry about other transits get into this mindset and try 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 do 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 that's what I'm going to say Sagittarius moon um, even if things are tough and, and I understand think things can be tough so if you're not feeling it don't push yourself but if you are there could be some some progress to be made so I really wish you well, Sagittarius Moon. I was going to check and see your... I'll oh, go on, let me have a look. I will. I'll spend extra time with you guys because I'll tell you, I think you are going through a tough time, aren't you? Yeah, so I mean, look, Mars might be third from your moon, but you are probably having some other tough transits. So let me double check with someone else's chart as well. I'm going to check a few charts here. Transit chart. What are we looking at? Sagittarius moon. Bring up the uh, transits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You might be going through some tough stuff. But, you know, try, okay? Don't, don't worry about Sadi Sati and Saturn on your moon. and Don't worry about that. Just, just... Tune into Mars, tune into Mars, see, see what comes, you know. There's always a good transit and look, you're one of the lucky ones, okay. So only three, I'm, I'm giving good news to three moon signs this time, you know. 
So you are one of the lucky ones. Uh, so Sagittarius Moon, I really wish you well. And we're going to now welcome Capricorn Moon. Capricorn Moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Now this uh, Mars transit is happening for you in your second house. So what do we have to look forward to? Okay, uh, this is not ideal. Th yeah, apologies Capricorn Moon, the camera just got cut. So I'm going to continue on now. I think I just started with you and I think I was saying that this transit is not particularly ideal and I'm going to explain why. The Mars transition that I spoke of in the introduction is happening in your second house. Now what this means you will really want to be careful with what you say and with how you say it and when you say it and everything to do with your speech. You really want to just take your time and, um, and, and be mindful of the fact that your words have weight and be mindful of how they land in another person's psyche, okay? So um, when you write an email, stop, just pause, just a little pause, reread the email, just read it again, maybe cut a word or two, you know, make it efficient, make the language nice and compact and then hit send, okay? When you're writing a text, stop, pause, reread the text, then hit send. Just take time, take time, watch your words, watch how you speak um, in your relationships and take it easy, okay? Don't, don't rush anything, take your time, go slow, um, delay, rely on some of that beautiful Saturnian energy to delay things. If things are delayed for you, that's fantastic, just keep that going on. Um, and uh, use that mercurial logic to just you know, be strategic, be intelligent, and be 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 um, be be precise um, with communications. Now, golden rule in relationships that's always worth keeping in mind as you're dealing with people, and this is something I've been doing a lot lately, which is to say to myself, "I seek to understand." So I've got that kind of affirmation. Um, very much in my consciousness at all times. I seek to understand, I seek to understand. And seeking to understand is the lubricant that will keep all of your relationships smooth. You won't have a need for forgiveness. Um, you won't have a need to argue too much because you're always seeking to understand the other person. And if that's in operation, you are going to cruise through. So Capricorn Moon, I really hope this overview has been helpful and I uh, really wish you well for this month. And now we're going to welcome Aquarius Moon. Aquarius Moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Now the camera has been problematic, so if it cuts out at any point, I apologize. Um, we're having a look at this Mars transition for you and it's happening in your first house. So you're going to really want to be careful with your finances. Aquarius moon, uh, you know, be careful not to overspend um, or be relying too much on debt or that kind of thing, you know, uh, keep your spending in check if you can. Health-wise, you're also going to want to go a bit slower this month um, if at any point you're feeling like things are too much, things are too hectic, too many demands on your time and your energy. Really, you're going to need to put up some boundaries and really take some time out. Um, relax whenever you can. In the Northern Hemisphere, we're also having quite a change of season. It is getting quite a lot colder, so rug up and be warm. That's another bit of advice there, which is always obvious, but truly, I mean, you know, the other day I forgot my hat and oh, my ears were just freezing, so, you know, we have to remember these things. Um... You're also looking at potential ups and downs in career. Career-wise, this is not a time to push ahead, right? It's not a time to um, really be pushing for it in career or expanding your territory or, or you know, going, going too hard and fast there. You really want to slow down um, in terms of career. And also be careful with your mum. Um, her health, you know, could be impacted at this time uh, or your relationship with her, you know, there might be tensions creep in. So the advice for you really this month is go slow, um, delay things, think, rethink and then act. So Aquarius Moon, thank you so much for joining. And now we are going to welcome Pisces Moon. 
Pisces moon, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Now, I'm really hoping the camera doesn't cut out in your segment. It's been cutting out a lot lately, so um, apologies if it does. Now, this Mars transition is happening in your 12th house. So this is, yeah, for you, it's really going to be a time to go slow. Um, this is not a great transition for your health, especially when it comes to body aches, um, your feet, eyes, stomach. These are kind of areas that you're going to want to be watchful of and just make sure that um, that you're just taking extra care, you know, don't push yourself, don't overextend yourself, don't do too much this month. If you feel like you need to rest, rest. Truly, that is what you need to do. Um, keep some space in your relationships as well this month. Um, yes, there's a time to just be polite, be harmonious, go with the flow, but just have a little space between you and others. Uh, no particular reason, just, you know, it, it will do you some good. Um, expenditure could be high this month. This is really a time to be careful with expenses. And you might have the need to travel with work. That's another thing. Um, take care if you do have to travel with work because it might not be the glamorous fun uh, thing that you might think it is it might just be work 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 where you're in a cab and they send you and you're just work 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 and then you're in a cab and you go home and you don't see the place or the country you go to or whatever um yeah i i would have loved to have had a career where i traveled with work but i i didn't particularly have one of those uh but i know friends of mine who they go on these work trips and sometimes they're so disappointed because they're like, I thought I'd be able to see that other city, but they don't get to see anything. So, um, you know, if you do travel with work, it could be that kind of a journey. But really the overall uh, thing for you to bear in mind, Pisces Moon, is that you're going to want to take it easy. You're going to want to go slow. Um, this is not a time to be charging ahead or pushing ahead or, or doing too much. This is really a time for you to negotiate space, get some space, have some boundaries, um, make sure you get some time out to rest and relax if you possibly can this month. So Pisces Moon, thank you so much for joining. And of course, anyone who's stuck around, uh, who's still watching, thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.